dumped a 45 foot long hunk of junk, a truck called a semi trailer, unceremoniously dumped next to a Brooklyn high school, gathering up garbage and taking up precious parking spaces for two years. You heard that right, two years. Now, frustrated parents and teachers have had it. Their last resort to eliminate this Brooklyn blight, Nina Pineda and Seven on Your Side. It's covered in graffiti and hogging up precious pick up and drop off spots in front of Brooklyn Law and Tech for a solid two years. How long? Two years. W why has nobody moved it? We checked Michelle Armstrong's memory. A Google Earth Street View from 2020 captures the tractor stuck in the same spot. And, and why does it have no tickets on it? I don't know. You tell me. I don't know. People sometimes need a parking. Like if you come drop off your kid or a school bus comes pick up one of the kids, it, it was hard because there was no way to find parking. Parents complained to the school and administrators complained to 311. But the cab on the corner of Broadway and busy Bushwick hasn't budged. There's not a single ticket on the truck. And since it hasn't moved in two years, the street has not been clean. So it's not only an eyesore, it's an outhouse. Um, it stunk so bad to the point where it was like, ew, get away from me. Like, I would try walking past very quickly. After a teacher who wanted to remain anonymous sent seven on your side photos, we tried to find clues. No registration, no license plate. We flagged down a passing traffic cop for help. Do you think the VIN is written on the inside? Well, it looked like they, took, like they took it off. The patrolman pointed out the vehicle ID panel was dismantled. Careful, Nina. And the license plate shoved backward into the dash is unreadable. Yeah, I'll call, I'll call him up and see. He called his precinct and we called sanitation, finding out they cleaned 4,042 derelict cars, trucks, trailers, boats, jet skis, even a forklift off city streets last year, but can't dispose or recycle vehicles with a plate present. Those are abandoned responsibility of the police. Between New York's strongest and New York's finest within 24 hours, now you see it, now you don't. The two-ton hunk of junk has been hauled out of here. DSNY and the NYPD went out the next day. I was like, wow, so the amount of complaints that they already had, had, they ain't do nothing, but the media got involved and now they want to move it within 24 hours. It's crazy to me. Thank you and hey, go for seven. They're really on your side.